Okay, so I'm gonna teach you the e-collar heel. So e-collar heel is when you have the prong collar on and the e-collar, and mostly the e-collar is doing the work. It's not, you're not herking and jerking the dog with the prong collar. So um, whenever Harmony pulls a little bit ahead, I'm gonna hit and hold the red button so she gets some stem, and, that's, and I'm gonna pair that with the word heel, and that's gonna slow her down. And then if I need to, I'll be guiding her back um, to here with the prong collar, but it's mostly gonna be e-collar. All right, so here we go. Heel. So I'm hitting and holding because she's like way ahead of me. No. So, and she's very, so she's very easily distracted on walks. I'm sure you already know that. So I'm gonna dial up to 24. We're at 24 right now. Heel. not use the prong collar that much it's e-collar right that's what makes it so easy when you're work, walking is e-collar so heel I want her walking at my pace so if I slow my pace right like when I turn around here look at my arm and my hand and my hand on the leash heel see how relaxed okay see the slack in the leash that's what you're looking for you're walking at your pace you might see a neighbor, you're gonna say, hi neighbor, how you doing, sit. Put your dog into a sit, and you're gonna have a conversation with your neighbor. And basically your dog, uh, to, you know, you want your dog to have nice manners, sit, wait for me, be patient, and then when you're ready, um, and I have, she's calmed down considerably, so I have dropped down the, the pressure on the e-collar to about 12. So let's go heel. So remember, at your pace, nice and relaxed, the slower you go, the better it is for her mentally. It's more mentally draining. It's also physically tiring for your dog to walk at a slow pace. So a little e-collar pressure there and a little pop on the leash. Like, heel. I didn't even have to do it there because she's tuned into me. So I want your dog to follow you on the walk. You're the leader. Your dog follows. You should always have manners on leash even when there's a bunch of motion going on around her and you. Great. And every time you come to a stop, just a little gentle pressure. I want an auto sit out of her. So a little pressure up. Eventually she'll just be doing that auto sit for you. But that's what the structured walk looks like. All right. So I'm going to demonstrate the structured walk for you. The structured walk is a little different than a regular walk. So on a structured walk, there's no snipping, no marking, no pulling, no barking, no lunging, no getting excited at everybody. Um, your dog is walking at your pace. Um, and it, the reason that we do this, we do it once a day with the prong collar and the e-collar on. Um, and you're primarily using the e-collar. The prong collar is just a backup at this point. Um, and I will demonstrate this for you when you get home, um, when we work together. But basically, um, this mentally and physically drains your dog and that's why we do the structured walk and we do it once a day for 30 minutes.